Pritikin's work has continued through his research foundation, which has really done some elegant work. They put people on different diets, drip their blood on cancer cells growing in a petri dish, and then just stand back and see whose blood is better at suppressing cancer growth. They were among the ones that uh, published that study showing the blood of those on a vegan diet was dramatically less hospitable to cancer. Even the blood of those on a standard American diet fights cancer. I mean, if it didn't, everyone would be dead. It's just that the blood of those eating vegan fights about eight times better. The blood of those on the standard American diet slows cancer growth down about 9%. Put people on a plant-based diet for a year, though, and their blood just tears it up. Uh, the blood circulating within the bodies of vegans has nearly eight times the stopping power when it comes to cancer cell growth. Now, this was for prostate cancer, the most common cancer among American men, uh, followed by lung, then colon. In women, it's breast cancer, then lung, then colon. So the Pritikin researchers tried duplicating the study with women using breast cancer cells instead. Now, they didn't want to wait a whole year to get the results, though, so they figured they'd see what the diet could do in two weeks. First, they took samples of blood to get a baseline, and then they asked a dozen women to eat a plant-based diet for 14 days. Then they took a second sample of blood from those same women at the end of the two weeks, so they'd kind of serve as their own controls. Now, it was time to pit breast cancer cells against the defenses of these women before and after eating healthy. They drip their before and after blood upon three different lines of human breast cancer. Uh, for example, uh, MCF7 stands for Michigan Cancer Foundation. It's a uh, estrogen receptor positive invasive ductal carcinoma uh, taken from a 69-year-old Caucasian woman, Sister Catherine Francis, a, a nun in the convent of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in uh, Monroe, Michigan. This is the before, cancer cell growth powering away at 100%, and then this is after eating a plant-based diet for 14 days. Now, slowing down cancer growth rate is nice, but getting rid of cancer cells completely is even better. This is the before measuring cancer cell death. This is the after, pre and post plants. The same blood that was now coursing through their bloodstream gained the power to significantly slow down and stop breast cancer cell growth thanks to just two weeks of eating a plant-based diet. What kind of blood do we want in our body? What kind of immune system? Do we want blood that just kind of rolls over when cancer cells pop up? Or do we want blood circulating to every nook and cranny in our body that has the power to slow down and stop them?